Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And I realized I don't have the glasses that I need over here. Hang on. goodness. Um, so it's earlier than normal and I hadn't even brushed my hair yet, but I do have on, I do have on clothes. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> so I'm up a little early doing this a bit early this morning because a water restoration guy is going to be here in about 20 minutes. So uh, last night when I got home from church, the water heater had gone bad and so the basement has is the carpet is soaked so anyway so we dealt with that until midnight my husband had been dealing with it since eight o'clock and I was at the church doing the Sunday my Bible study and then teaching the fast track from church like I always do on um, on Wednesday night but then I was just still talking with the other leader and everything. And he's like, are you ever coming home? This is what's going on at the house. I was like, oh goodness, um, sorry. And so I headed home, but we got all the water drained out of the, the rest of the um, water heater. And then the funny thing is, I wrote a contract yesterday for a water mitigation um, company. And guess who I had to call last night? The water mitigation company. So the person I wrote a contract for yesterday is coming to the house in about 20 minutes to work on the water issue in the basement. It smells funny already. Ugh. But anyway, um, that's what I'm doing this morning. But you know what? When things go wrong, you cannot go with them. And we will just deal with this as one of those things in life that you get to deal with. And the way I was praising the Lord about this is, thank you, Lord, that I have a home that I can take care of. Thank you, Lord, that I have a husband that he's doing all of these wonderful things to take care of this. And I was like, put my hands in the air. I said, thank you, Lord, during this, this, uh, this challenge, this little short-term challenge. Um, when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Let's see, we've got Diane. Good morning. Yeah, it's early. It's earlier than normal. Um, at 5.30 this morning, so what we did was we hooked this hose pipe, we hooked the hose, the garden hose, up to the water heater and ran it out back for it to drain all the water out. And then, you know, you're trying to figure out, I don't know, we're not plumbers, you know. So I, in the middle of the night, I go down and check some other things, and I, so I've not slept much at all. Um, but yes, it is an early morning. And I am from Columbus, Mississippi, having an IMF day. Thank you for sharing. Uh, if y'all want to see people doing real life, me forgetting my glasses, have to go get them in the middle of a, or at the beginning of a show, telling you about my water heater going bad, and living the Shibboleth lifestyle, you can share this video. <coughs> good morning, Charlene from Michigan, having a perfect day. Hey, Ron, good morning from Lilburn on a perfect day. Good morning, Amy from Ohio, having a perfect day. Uh, Dawn says, girl, been there with the basement issues. No fun. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Rhonda, I am early today. Um, hey, Kim Scott. She's driving to work. I'm so glad. Um, Rhonda is a little discouraged. Why are you discouraged, Rhonda? Let me just tell you, Rhonda, you blew it out of the water. You blew it out of the water in the first week. I mean, in the first, like, four days, you were like, but there is no reason to get discouraged. I understand you can be, but I want to encourage you not to be. Um, whatever you started the week off at, I don't know what weight you started the week off at, but whatever weight you started the week off at, whatever 1% of that is, that's what you should try to be losing over the course of a week. So those awesome, crazy awesome numbers you saw in the beginning, that's just your body doing a reset. And hallelujah, we like the reset. Everybody loves the reset. But on your continued journey, because you got to continue to do this thing, 1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, 
So if your body weight is like one, I don't know, I think you're pretty small now, right? Um, but anyway, I'm just going to say, let's say that you're 140, 130. You'd only be looking to lose a pound, 1.3 1, 1 pounds, 1.4 pounds for the week. And so sometimes when we've seen those big giant numbers early on, then we don't think that we are still losing properly, but we are. So I hope, 125. Okay, so Rhonda, you're only looking to lose 1.2 pounds this week. Now, you had great results in the beginning because everybody's body does a reset, all right? But, girl, if you're on track to lose 1.2 pounds in a week, that's good, okay? So, I hope that that math helps you not to be discouraged, okay? You just keep doing what you're doing because what we're doing with the continuation of it is we're changing our habits and improving our habits for a lifetime of goodness, a lifetime of goodness. Let's see. Good morning, Karen from Texas, Houston, Texas, IMF day. Deborah is trying to get back on track, lost 80 pounds, gained 30 back. Okay, at least it's not 80, woo! And let me just tell you, you have locked this in, hopefully way before the 80, okay? That 30, we can get that off and keep going back, okay? You can do it, Deborah. you can do it. You're already recognizing it before you get to 80 or more. Praise the Lord for that. Put your hand in the air right now and say, thank you, Lord, for letting me see it at 30, okay? <laughs> and just get back on the plan. Get back on plan. Hey, Shanda, good morning. I am F Day in Rosa, Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Good morning, Susie from Philadelphia, Mississippi. She's down. Well, first of all, I'm going to do this. I'm doing this for Deborah because 80 pounds is a lot to lose. Congratulations. That is success, and you can do the other 30 again. You can do that. Um, and then Susie, 25 pounds down and an IMF day. <laughs> Congratulations on that. That is awesome. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Good morning, Erica from Wichita. Having a perfect day today. Hey, Nancy and Colleen from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Rhonda, it is best to weigh yourself once a week if the, if this, the scale discourages you daily. Yes. In fact, I'm... Um, was helping a friend and she was like boom 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 like you you know boom 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 and then she was like wait wait a minute why did that change it just does it just does see during that very first week your water level your hydration levels are normalizing and a lot of glucose that weighs stuff and other things that just weigh stuff comes out and goes away now when you lose that just think a chunk of fat is about this much just one pound just one pound about that much. And at 125, you don't have a lot to lose. But imagine, imagine this size of a chunk coming off of a smaller frame. It's more noticeable. So yeah, I would try to do once a week if that'll help you not be discouraged because when you see that, you're gonna go like, yeah, I'm on track. But if you measure every day and you see the little fluctuations that our body does just because of bodies, um, you could get discouraged. So I would look at it more like a week right now. Yes, yes. Um, this is how we should eat anyway. Some girl named Kim Danky says that all the time. Um, Tammy! Tammy hit her 30 pound mark today. Bring on the next 30. That's awesome, Tammy. Congratulations, that is fabulous. Good morning, there's Chevy Shop Sherry on here with us. Yes, from Kennesaw having an IMF day. And I'm having an IMF day as well. Did I mark my calendar for today, possible holiday? I don't know. I might have a possible holiday on my calendar. I don't know. Um, oh, sweet Dawn, that's sweet. Colleen, I had lost 75 last winter and gained 40 back in this spring, got to business, and got the other 35 back off. Yay, yay. And see, that was a success story too because noticing that you're going back up and deciding to do something about it before you get back to everything gained, that's success. That is making a relapse shorter, okay? <laughs> we, we don't want the relapse, but if we ever have a really relapse, let's make it shorter. <laughs> so that's a great job, Colleen. Good morning, Julie from Indiana, having an IMF day. Rhonda, IMF is intermittent fasting. And it's simply going at least 12 hours 
without eating. That, like Dawn says, that can include your sleeping time. Thank you, Harriet and Dawn. That can include your sleeping time. So I try to get in 16 every day. I stop eating early in the day and I go to bed with on an emptier tummy. I, uh, you know, let my body have room to time to do what it does during the night and then I eat in the morning. So I usually get about a 16 in. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and do the devotion today. I really like, I, this is from the Word for You Today app and it says, there are no shortcuts. I know that's backwards, but it was pretty. Well, you can look at the Shibola story and my story and see the little prettiness. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. There are no shortcuts. Do you know how many people have tried to take a shortcut to weight loss? Lots and lots of people. There are no short shortcuts to any place worth going. Do you know the journey that helps us get where we're going? Um, the journey that helps us get where we're going helps us make those long-term habit changes. And that's very, very important. But what I wrote on my story and on Shibboleth's story is, but going with Shibboleth will seem like a shortcut though. And then I said a $65 membership is worth it. And you're worth it too. Okay, so it, the title of the, um, of the devotion is actually keep your spiritual priorities in place. And there is something about food and eating food that it properly and in alignment with you know what standards are good for taking care of the temple that lines up with spiritual priorities. So uh, Hebrews 1, and this seems like a different kind of version. It doesn't say which one it is, but I don't think it's the regular one. We ought to give more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Let's read that again. We ought to give more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Your highest priority should always be your relationship with God and fulfilling His will for your life. Don't let that priority slip. There is a sobering illustration of this in the Old Testament. A soldier was given custody of an important prisoner. He was told... If by any means he is missing, your life shall be for his life, or else you shall pay a talent of silver. In spite of the warning, he allowed his prisoner to escape. How did it happen? Through carelessness and busyness. Do you know this is why we journal? There can be no carelessness when you're journaling, because you're having to be honest and write down what you're eating and doing. And busyness, I hear a lot of people say they're too busy. Um... But sometimes busyness is like a badge of honor, and I don't want that badge. While your servant was busy, and here and there, he was gone. Then the king of Israel said to him, So shall your judgment be. You yourself have decided it. That's pretty forward. So shall your judgment be. You yourself have decided it. Keeping your spiritual priorities in place is your responsibility and no one else's. If you don't do it, you will pay a high price. If we don't eat properly, which is our responsibility and no one else's, if we don't do it, we pay a high price. But I pray each morning you say, that's good. But you, do you take time to listen to God and get direction before you rush into your day? That's thinking about what you're going to eat for today. Some of us have deleted from our Bibles and our thoughts those scriptures that command us to wait on God. There is a work going on in your life right now. You may not be fully aware of it, but without it, you will never be qualified to handle what God has in mind for you. The Bible says Jesus often withdrew and prayed. Spending time with God is the price you pay for hearing him and doing his will. Spiritually speaking, there is no shortcuts to any place that's worth going. Spiritual responsibility. That's right. That's right, Diane. Um, Okay, so let's see if my, my internet doesn't quit on me today because there's a lot going on on Planet Shibboleth today. Tuesdays and Thursdays seem to be the hopping days right now. Um, they do change around, but that seems to be what it is right now. Okay, so Jason is doing the Fall Focus Roundup this morning at 9 a.m. 
And at noon, if you want to hear him do the orientation for next week live, you can join him at noon live. Travis is doing that elite club that I've been talking about. Hey, Polly, good morning. Perfect day in Dalton. Awesome. Um, so I've been talking about the elite club because I believe in it. I believe in what Travis does and getting to spend a little bit of extra time with him in uh, these meetings and having um, him look at your journal and stuff is important. So Elite Club is going on at noon. If you want to be a part of that, you go to travismartin.tv and you get a membership to that. That's $100 a month. That's not like your regular membership, okay? That's different and special on top of it. Let's see. Rhonda, is it best to do a WOW Challenge after a holiday? Every holiday? It's, it's a great strategy. It is a great strategy, Rhonda. A lot of people do that. And I don't always do that because I don't always want to do a WOW Challenge. But, um, but it is a great strategy. And you could certainly pull that out. Yes, yes, it is a great idea. Um, is it required or necessary? No, but it is an excellent strategy. Yes. Uh, good morning, Rita. Good morning. Uh, hey, Harriet. Good morning. Um, and then he's got Elite Club again at 7. That's, that's two of the four times he offers um, during the week. And then we have Fast Track tonight at 7.30. We're going to be going over void replacements, meal replacements, freebies, extras, and snacks. So if you want to know what freebies, extras, and snacks are, you can come with me tonight. And then void replacements are really a lot of meal replacements, freebies, extras, and snacks. It's kind of the same topic. Um, so that's going on. And then tonight at 830 is Travis's surrender group. So make sure that you get in there for that. So a lot going on on Planet Shibola today. And my son's got I'm like my son's got an orthodontic appointment at 920. And he's got another appointment uh, with a, a, a dental guy. At four, at three forty five, and and we've got the um, the dudes coming, and my husband's got to find a new water heater today. Yay! Thank you, Lord, for all the things we get to do today. <laughs> Good morning, Chris. Good morning from Jacksonville, Florida. She's down point four more. Congratulations, and she's reached walking goal two miles. Awesome, Chris. That is so good for you. That is so strengthening for your body and your lungs. Awesome. Keep going. And y'all, walking is the simplest exercise just to go do and one of the best for you. So if you can walk, do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, busy as a bee. Do you know that I laid in the bed yesterday morning and I said, those shirts are perfect Busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, standing on the rock. Because no matter what's going on in life, I'm here in the mornings and fast track. That's steady as a clock. And yes, I stand on the rock. His name is Jesus. And I'm busy as a bee. I don't see it as a badge, though. Like, I don't want it as a badge. I just do what has to be done. And then I'm cheerful as a cricket. So I love those shirts. And I can't, I've earned one, the cheerful as a cricket. Maybe that one was the first one I should have earned. Um, but I can't wait to get them all. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Good morning, Nicole. And Chris says walking is free. It is free. I love free. Um, Diane, I didn't get the notification for the last surrender group. Is it recorded or on Facebook? Mm, I do not know the answer to that. Maybe Joni knows. Message her on the chat today. Maybe Joni knows. Um, <laughs> Donna says, girl, you're as busy as a beehive. Well, that's funny. But the Lord... Let's me do it. I'm excited about it. And I've already spent time with him this morning. Okay, um, Diane. So what you want to do is that I don't think that's live on Facebook. It could be. I don't think it is. It might be. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> once you have registered for one of those webinars, save the link to join in your calendar. And then when you go to your calendar, you just click on the link and you should be in. Or you can save that email. I have a Shibboleth folder in my emails. And then anything that's new that I'm doing, I pull it over into the Shibboleth folder. And then at the time that it's supposed to start, I go to the Shibboleth folder, I click on that. And then if that's never, if that's ever not a good link anymore, I delete that email out of that folder. So maybe that's a tip too. Because on the Saturday accountability meetings, people will tell me they don't get those either. And I'm like, I don't know why. I went in and tried to do all the settings it, I think it's different on a meeting than a webinar, but the one tonight is a webinar. 
Anyway, what I would do is just copy and paste that into my calendar. Um, oh, I don't know, Polly. I don't know. But if you will call Shitty Shop Sherry today, she is the one answering questions about that. So I do not know, Polly. That is really weird. Um, and Chris said she missed the beginning. What's the verse for today? Oh, sorry about that. I should have told folks to type it in. Um, Hebrews 2.1. 2, 1. Hebrews 2.1. And I'll let you look that up because I need to go wake my husband up because there's this water mitigation guy going to come. And... Anyway, y'all have a great day. Y'all go and journal. Journal your day. Go there right now. Just go there right now unless you're driving. <laughs> and then um, if you're watching on replay, type in hashtag Shavola for his glory. Bye, everybody.